and welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, I am doing what, what do I do? So for today's video, I am gonna be reading some popular series slash trilogies, um, including Divergent and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, um, and also a little bit of Shatter Me. So get excited for that. I actually started filming this video probably a week ago, so I'm gonna throw it back to a week ago, Grace, for now. Welcome to this. I'm going to be reading some really popular series. So I'm currently reading the, I'm reading the fifth Harry Potter book, which is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And it is very um, ginormous. And then I'm also going to be reading the first book in this trilogy, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I'm going to be reading four from the Divergent trilogy, except this is kind of before the trilogy. But I've already watched the three movies, so I wanted to start with this book. I'm reading the first Harry Potter book. And yes. Oh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And yes, yeah, so we're going to get cozy. We're going to turn a little Harry Potter ambiance on the TV. Hi. I'm, I'm a few sentences into, a few chapters into On a Quiet Street. Avid reader right here. <laughs> It is 11.41 at night and I am on page 71 of four. I think that this is really good. Okay, so I've never read the Divergent books but I've watched the movies. I don't know, I'm so intrigued. I can't wait to find out more of his backstory for his becoming who he is and who we see in the original books and movies. And honestly, this is shaping up to be at least a four star for me. And yeah, I'm gonna try and read a lot more of this before I go to bed, we'll see. Uh, it's, there's like a stripe across your oh. eyes. You look like a spy. Friday night when I bought four by Veronica Roth. It is now Monday. I finished four last night. It's about 300 pages or so, but there aren't a ton of words on each page and I just flew through it. It was really good. I'd probably give it four stars. There's not a whole perfectly packaged story in here. It's more a collection of stories, which I think is kind of what it's trying to say on the cover. I thought it was really good, well written, entertaining, and super fun. And on that note, I'm trying to be careful about like buying books. So I checked out Divergent from the library. And so maybe I'll be reading this soon. And I am still working on Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm on page 350. It's got about 900 pages. So and then I'm also going to start A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I am so eager for this book. I absolutely love mystery, thriller, and this is a YA, so I don't think it's going to be too scary, which is perfect because I'm kind of a scaredy cat. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep reading Harry Potter or if I want to start this book. I also, on another note, my flight got delayed 
on Saturday night and to pass the time Christy and I went into Barnes and Noble and I bought Shatter Me because I've just heard so much about this series. So I read the first 20 pages of it last night. It's already kind of not what I was expecting. It's very poetic I guess and yeah I don't know. I don't know what to think so far. Hello, it is like 1 a.m. and I've read 62 pages of this book and it is so good, like definitely five star material. I'm really excited about it and I kind of want to stay up even later to read it, but I probably shouldn't. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's the next day. I have my coffee, I just finished reading my Bible, and now I am so ready to jump back in to one of these books. I, oh. I already have put the second and third book of this trilogy on my TBR because I can just tell that this book is gonna be probably a four and a half or five star. I absolutely love it. I really like there's normal text like you're reading a book and then they have dialogue transcripts from the main characters interviews with people and then there was also like a map and some files and all those kinds of things and so I love this. I'm a fan and I want to absolutely blast through this book today if I can help it. I've been audiobooking some more of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Audiobooking it has really helped me kind of get through some of the more mundane stuff. So yeah, let's do some reading, why don't we? So comfortable. No one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel. It is so late, but I had to stay up until I finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and whoa, so many thoughts, but I'm gonna recap it in the morning because I'm so tired. Okay, hello. So, it is the next day, and I wanted to give my official review of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I finished it last night. I stayed up so late to finish it so let's talk about it i read this book for probably six hours yesterday it was so good i did not want to put it down everything i had to do last night i was doing it like this so that i could keep reading and i am here to report that this is not five stars for me i would have to say it's probably like 4.5 just because there was never really a moment where i was like <gasps> Like, I never saw that coming. Um, I didn't necessarily figure everything out, but nothing was particularly shocking. And I don't know. I still felt like I was waiting to learn something else when it ended, but I loved it. I couldn't put it down, like I said. And I am going to be buying the second book. Maybe today. I don't know. I'm super excited to read this. So, yeah. 4.5 stars for this. And today I am flying back to school to Virginia and I checked this out at the library a few days ago so I am officially going to read Divergent. I'm about 20 pages into it right now. I was reading it um, just for a few minutes earlier and I'm super excited so I'll probably read this on the plane tonight 
and I'm still working on Harry Potter. I think I'm gonna audiobook a little bit of that today as well while I'm in the car. Divergent by Veronica Roth and I am gonna have to say that I would give this 4.5 we're gonna go 4.5 definitely better than the movie big fan um, but also like I did kind of know a lot of what was gonna happen because I've already seen the movies and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna continue reading the series but overall this was a good time so that is gonna be it for this reading video um but i will see you super soon with another video yeah